Hi, it's Kristen Tollefson, the Education Director from the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art with another episode of Art in Action, the Museum at Home. Today I've been thinking a lot about people who I can't see right now and thinking about ways to connect with them and tell them I love them or tell them I'm thinking about them or ask what they're up to. I have a lot of friends who are far away and um, really have been thinking about ways to, to connect. So in the spirit of making things with very few supplies at home and thinking creatively about how to make your world a better place, I thought it would be nice to make some cards and make your own envelopes to be able to share with people. Um, I think it's fun to make cards and envelopes for a lot of different reasons, not just to put in the mail, but sometimes you might want to just tell somebody something nice during the day and give them a card at dinner. Sometimes you might want to put a card and an envelope under somebody's pillow. I've even used it as a scavenger hunt and hid it in the yard so that somebody can come and find it later on. So I am going to show you how to do that. Um, one of the things that got me excited and thinking about that again today was this book called Griffin and Sabine, written and illustrated by Nick Bantock. And it's a book about a couple of people, Griffin and Sabine, who have a relationship that develops through writing letters. And you can see that the book has some wonderful illustrations both in the book, um, just on pages where they are printed and it shows the envelope. And then there are pages where the envelope is part of the page and the, the letter inside gets pulled out and read as part of the story. So this kind of creative way of making some images using envelopes and stamps um, some kind of funny things going together, some drawing, some collage, is the place that I wanted to start. Um, many of you probably have made cards in the past, and that's uh, something that I'll show you a little bit of, but envelopes are a surprisingly easy thing to do at home also. You might just want to start with an envelope that you like, um, if you know that you have one that is the right size, you can actually use that for your pattern or your template and um, start by just opening it up and gently unsticking the adhesive that's holding it together and you will see that it turns into a little flat piece of paper with some marks where the folds are and that is your guide for making your own envelope. If you're going to do a lot of these, you might want to think about making it into a template. And a template or a, a pattern, um, a reusable pattern, could be done on a little bit thicker card. You can see that I've also recycled a catalog for this. Um, and I've labeled it so I know which one of my envelopes it is. And that way I can reuse that. You can see some of my Sharpie has escaped over the edge when I trace around it, but it's hard and um, you could use a file folder for that or the cover of a magazine, um, a cereal box, any kind of thin flexible cardboard like that will work really well for a template. Um, what I like to use for my envelopes are pages from magazines and I just, I collect pages from magazines all the time and I just tear them out, um, catalogs or magazines, I tear them out and I put them in a file folder and I save them for a time when I have a lot stashed up and I can just sit down and listen to a book on audio podcast or I can have a conversation while I'm doing this but it's a great project to do all at once and it's a great project to do with friends or family too so I'm going to show you what this looks like down here uh, I've got my picture and I've got my template and because this has a side that is straight I'm going to actually save myself a little bit of time by lining that straight edge up 
with the straight edge of my page. So that's one side that I don't have to cut. Um, I like using a Sharpie because then I see the line that I draw very clearly. And I'm going to draw all the way around the edge following my guide. Oop. And it's okay if you go outside the line a little bit or over the edge because you're going to trim that off. So don't forget this little triangle right there. Now you can see that I've drawn the outside of this. Um, my next step would be to cut that out and what I would end up with is a flat piece like this that's cut out with the template and when I'm ready to fold it another trick is to take the card that you want to put inside because you will have measured the card already and use that as your guide for folding so you can just fold up against the edges of your card that makes the folding a lot easier and fold up there fold up there so you've got all these little folds and then you can fold in your sides mostly I like to start by folding in the sides first and then fold up the bottom and you have a choice. You can take glue and you can glue here or you can take tape and just tape on the outside and tape down the top when you have when you're ready to put your card in. So I'll show you a couple of different ones that I've made. Um, here's one that I actually put a mailing sticker on so I had room to write. A lot of these have interesting text on the outside when it's folded over it actually has an interesting image there. Um, some catalogs that I had had artwork in them so I actually get part of the artwork as the cover of my envelope and then something different on the back and something different still on the inside. So you really learn about looking for all of the details on paper and also being surprised when you fold things when you make these envelopes on your own. Um, I also wanted to talk just for a minute about making cards to go inside and show you a couple of examples of cards that I've made. Uh, we'll cover some of these in some later Art in Actions. I uh, just wanted to show you how easy it is to do a collage by cutting out just a single picture from a magazine. Um, here's a little bit more elaborate collage with a couple of different pictures layered on top. Here is a strange picture from a book, a first aid book about how to help somebody get something out of their eye. <laughs> and um, you can also make a little stamp and use that and we'll I'll show you how to do that in a future art in action. Um, another thing that you can do is take a bunch of pictures and put them all together on one page and use that as your starting place and if you have a printer or a machine that will make a photocopy you can make copies of that so this is the copy that way and then you can cut those shapes out into individual individual shapes and those can go on your card so if you get really uh, industrious you can make a bunch you can keep your original and you can repeat and make a lot to send so um, keep track of all of the papers that you're coming in the mail and Keep an eye out for pictures that are in catalogs and magazines. Keep those in a place where you can just forget about them for a little while and then pull them out when you are ready to make your own envelopes and cards. And if you would like to send one to us at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, we love getting artwork and we put it up on the wall in the education office. So um, we'd love to hear from you or you can take a picture 
and you can email it to us also. We love that. We love that too. Um, until the next time, thanks for watching and stay creative. Bye.